Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome for the first time and thanks so much for coming by. I'm Amanda. If you haven't already seen any of my videos, I do a lot of cleaning content. I am a homeschool mom to four kiddos, so I do a lot of homeschool content as well and I'm just getting my channel going again after being off of YouTube for about a year and you can catch up with that video here. I will link it above just kind of explaining what was going on with our family. But I'm super excited to be coming back. Today is going to be a deep clean focusing on our kitchen and then also the master bathroom. So our house is kind of slowly being revealed to everybody as I do these videos. So our master bath, you guys haven't seen it yet, but you will see it today because I need to get in there and do a thorough, thorough cleaning of it. And then the kitchen as well. I just wanted to come in here and focus on like the cabinets and the windowsills. And as you can see behind like that rolling pin, just getting the backs of the countertops, the backsplash, things like that, that don't get touched as often. I need to clean the microwave and in our garbage area for sure. So I am going to be bringing you guys along with it. And I'm just starting with the sink here. I got all the breakfast dishes loaded up and I really like to keep the sink clean throughout the day. So keeping the dishes out of it and then making sure that it's scrubbed down as best I can. It's a little difficult to stay on top of this with four kids that are home all the time, but I do try as best I can to keep it clean because I find it such a mood boost when the sink is clean. So right now I'm using Dawn dish soap to clean it because I am actually out of the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner. That's my favorite thing to do uh, my stovetop and my sink with, but I am out of it. So Dawn dish soap is gonna have to do it for today. But after this, I'm gonna get going on cleaning the windowsill and the area behind the sink. So before I took the break last year on my channel, I was always getting a lot of questions about what I used to clean the countertops. So I really like the Caldrea countertop spray just to kind of go over everything, clean up any crumbs and uh, just kind of freshen up the kitchen. But if I really need to get in there and do some serious cleaning, I have been using this mixture since gosh, I don't even know when, obviously a really long time and I'm still using it. That bottle there is just a combination of water and Dawn dish soap and vinegar. So vinegar is a really good natural disinfectant and then Dawn dish soap, of course, just to kind of clean everything, cut through the grime and all of that. So I use that to get through and um, do any of the cleaning as far as on the countertops and then obviously to get through this stuff. It also works really well in your bathroom. I like to use it sometimes in my shower and stuff because it does do a great job of cleaning through all the grime and the soap scum. So I'm just using that to come in and clean these window sills and the tile backsplash and the countertop. And I've got my little two-year-old running around. The older kiddos were outside for pretty much most of this video. It was a cooler day, so they wanted to get out and kind of enjoy the neighborhood. They love to get out and play with their friends. So you aren't gonna see my older kids very much in this video, but my little one is running around with me for most of it and you'll see her pop in and out. So another thing that I've always received a lot of questions on my channel about is this laundry bag. I use this for my older three kids. Avi still has her own laundry container and that's just because when my kiddos were, are little, I notice they don't go through their laundry as much as the bigger kids. So if I mix it in with the big kids laundry, I tend to run out of their clothes. So. She still has her own little laundry bin, but this is for the older three. And I got this on Amazon and this thing is super hardy, holds a lot of laundry. I absolutely love it. The handles are great for hauling it up and down the stairs. It's just fantastic. So I've got the link in my description for um, a lot of the products that I use on my channel and things that you guys will find throughout our home if you have questions. So really quick, I did make Greek yogurt last night in the Instant Pot. I am trying to get back into this. It's a great way to save money if you eat yogurt in your family. Let me know if you guys do actually. Um, it's so, so easy to make it in the Instant Pot. I absolutely love doing this. So I had it going all night and it's ready to strain to make Greek yogurt. So as it comes out of the Instant Pot right here, you could eat it like this. This is just you know regular yogurt, but I'm gonna strain the excess whey out of it and that will leave the creamier, thicker Greek yogurt, which is what my kids really love. They love to eat yogurt and granola. 
So I'm going to be putting it in this bowl and this has a tea towel on it. I got it wet with cold water and then I rang it out and that'll just help with the whey straining through it. And I will stick it in the fridge for a few hours and you can leave it in the fridge for however long you want. The longer you leave it in there, the thicker it'll be and it's just kind of up to you. I also usually put a little bit of honey and vanilla extract in the yogurt when I'm making it. And that way it's just got a little bit of sweetness and flavor. It's not quite so tart, which the kids really like. So I'm just gonna get this set in here and then we're gonna get going on my master bathroom. Okay, you guys, so here is our master bathroom. I love the lighting in this bathroom. This is probably one of my favorite bathrooms of any of the houses that we've lived in. It's just a really nice size, very practical. So it's set up really well, and I'm gonna come in and just give everything a really good scrub down. I love using the Method Anti-Back Cleaner for bathrooms. I also use Clorox wipes for the toilet, and then for the countertops and things, I like the Method All-Purpose Wipes in the Grapefruit scent. That is one of my favorite scents from Method. So I am just gonna start by cleaning off the countertops and then get going on wiping everything down. I'm also gonna get into the center drawers there. Um, the top ones have like our toiletries and my makeup and things like that in them. They are somewhat organized, but not really organized as you guys will see. That's actually one other thing that I need to figure out in this house is just coming in and taking the time to go through and organize everything, which I definitely want to do. We are gonna be in this house for another couple of years. We're signing a longer lease on it. So it would be worth it to come in and just make everything functional and work for us. So I'm gonna be working on getting that done hopefully in the next few months here. But today I'm just gonna get going on the countertops and then we'll go into deep cleaning everything, the bathtub, the windows, the lights, all of it.
So here is a look at what usually happens during my day with homeschooling my kiddos. And I'm sure so many of you can relate to this. That was Dane, my oldest boy. So he is coming in and out because he was outside and his one of his birthday presents arrived, one of his late birthday presents. So he just turned seven and he really, really wanted a longboard. So we got him one for his birthday and it arrived that day. He was out there opening it up from the package and he's going to pop back in here in a little bit because he's going to need help with getting the rest of the plastic off of um, his longboard. But this is usually what happens. Cleaning for me throughout the day is pretty much throughout the day. I don't usually have long stretches of time where I can clean. I usually do things in short little bursts and then I'm dealing with the kids, checking on the kids, hanging with the kids, you know, just mom life in the middle of it all. So um, yeah, he's back because he was opening it and just couldn't get the rest of the plastic off. They like bolted it underneath the wheels. I'm not really sure why. We eventually got it off. But anyway, he's going to take that out and play with it. He was so excited to get that for his birthday. He's got a neighbor boy down the road that's a few years older than him. So he definitely looks up to him and everything that that little boy has. He's like, oh yeah, when can I get that? I really want to get that. He wants to be just like him. So it's really fun watching him with the neighbor boy and um, just all the different things that he's aspiring to be and the toys and everything like that. It's just opening up his little world. But as you guys can see, I'm just using the method wipes for these drawers. Um, all I wanted to do was kind of get the dust and the dirt out from them and just kind of clean them up a little bit. And like I said, I need to work on organizing them and I'll get to that um, probably here in the next few months. But right now there's really not that much stuff in there where it bothers me. So they just kind of are what they are. All right, so now I'm gonna get started on the bathtub and the tile around it, and then I'll get up into the windows as well because those blinds are very, very dusty and need to be wiped down as well. And these washcloths, so you guys might notice, uh, I have white washcloths that I use for the kitchen and around the house. These green ones, these horrible, ugly green ones are specifically for the bathrooms. So I like having specific washcloths that are designated only for the bathrooms. It's just, I wanna keep the bathroom germs somewhat contained. I'm not horribly controlling about it, but on the other hand, I do what I can to just kind of keep them separate from the rest of the house. So the toilets, I use the Clorox wipes, but then these green ones I use for the bathtub, sometimes the shower, uh, and just the different surfaces throughout the bathroom. So do you guys do that where you have specific like washcloth or towels that you use throughout your house in like different zones? Or do you just kind of clean with whatever you have on hand? Or what do you guys do with it? Let me know in the comments. I'm always really curious just to know how the rest of you kind of organize your cleaning. Do you have schedules? Do you have different zones? Do you use different washcloths for different areas? Um, just share in the comments. I really like having dialogues like that. Um, and it's really nice just getting ideas from everybody else. So go ahead and let me know in the comments if you guys do stuff like this as well.
don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. 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 And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. Just thought I should let you know. Patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down. All right, so at this point, I've actually got Abby down for her nap, and the kids have had lunch. I think it's around noon or something. I actually can't remember. You can see it on the oven, though. <laughs> um, but the kids have had lunch, and they are back outside with their friends. They are seriously enjoying these last two and a half weeks or so before we start school. I did pre-film these videos um, before I started uploading them, so this is actually back in August before school started. At this point, when you guys are watching this video, we have started school, but this was the kids' last couple weeks of um, playtime before getting that schedule going and starting their school again. So any chance they get, they head right back outside. So I wanted to get the rest of the kitchen cleaned up. As you can see, this stovetop is just a mess. I think it's been a couple of nights worth of dinner and I haven't really wiped it down, so I need to do that. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm out of the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner. That's my favorite thing to use on the oven. You guys will see this does an okay job, the Dawn dish soap vinegar um, combination, but not that great. That's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know. Yeah. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to get going on the garbage area. So first I'm going to have Warren help me. This is my younger boy. So he was in and just kind of taking a break after playing outside. So I had him help me and now I'm going to come in and clean this entire area up. As you guys can see, it is just nasty. Um, it's probably been a few months since I've gotten in there and cleaned. So definitely needed to do that. But this is a very interesting situation. Let me know if you guys have seen anything like this before. It's basically like a Lazy Susan type thing, but for garbage cans. And they have three garbage cans in here. Uh, I'm going to clean those out as well, just sanitize them and wash them down really well. But I wanted to get in here and get the whole area scrubbed down. The kids are pretty good about keeping the messes to a minimum in here. It really doesn't get that bad, but of course over time. So just going to get this cleaned up really, really well and then get going on cleaning the garbage cans. We are Why don't I be me and you be you We're spreading color around us We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do We shouldn't care about anyone Or anything that brings us down So come on now, let's be free Just be yourself Keep on 
All right, so the last big thing that I wanted to get to was just giving the cabinet faces a really good scrub down. It's been quite a while since I've done this and they do get pretty scuzzy over time. So I'm just using the Dawn Dish Soap and Vinegar uh, combination. I don't know, do you guys have anything else that on wood cabinets you guys find a lot of success with? Um, these work pretty well. I mean, I got a clean rag out of the drawer and I just, yeah, use that and wipe it all down. And I don't find that it leaves a film or anything like that. But anyway, if you guys have suggestions for um, wood cabinets as far as cleaning them and um, something that worked really well, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know because I'm always on the hunt for things that smell really good and work really well. Because I can't say that I love the smell of this combination, but it's cheap and it does work. Okay, so at this point, you guys can see the kiddos are invading the house again. So it's kind of that mid-afternoon slump. All of the neighbor kids are going in for some quiet time and these guys came in. Nora did want to help me out and I am going to have her wipe down the countertops just because obviously my feet were up on there again. So I'm having her wipe everything down real quick and then I am going to get this finished up. The floors are a filthy mess, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I was exhausted by the time I got done with this, so I am just gonna be turning on the Roomba and having the Roomba go through the kitchen because I don't wanna come through here and vacuum. So Nora's moving the chairs and she's gonna get everything ready for Vector, our little Roomba, to get going. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys got a ton of cleaning motivation from this. I do love filming these deep clean videos. It's just so satisfying knowing that everything is so clean and so tidy. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what types of cleaning videos you like to see. I do a lot of other content if you're not subscribed, motherhood and homeschooling. So subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys with my next video.